Hi, my name is Richard Walters. In this demonstration, I'm going to look at filtering in Microsoft Project. Filtering can be covered in a variety of different ways, including areas like tasks, duration, date. These will now be covered in this particular video demonstration. In this demonstration, we're going to look at filtering in Microsoft Project. There are several different methods of filtering, and we'll investigate some of these. So, say for example, I wanted to filter by duration. And I might say, for the duration, drop an arrow. I want to filter by, and I want to say, any duration that happens to be greater than five days. So I'll just type in five. Okay. And that shows me everything now that's greater than five days. To clear the duration filter, I'll go back and then clear from filter from duration. I might do use the same sort of idea. Say I want to see the duration between one day and five days. So I'll say duration filter between and between is greater than or equal to one and less than or equal to five. So you include both areas. Okay. And there's everything that's between uh, one and five days. You'll see a seven day here for advertising because that's the summary of the three of these individual ones together. I'll now clear. We could, for example, filter by dates. I might say, I only want to see dates in the month of March of next of 2024. So I can see there's dates in March in this area. So I can filter and I go with start, start date in this example. I'll go start date and I want to go between and I'll say greater than or equal to. You've got to look at the date format. So it's stay month year. So I'm going to go 01 slash 03. And the year is 24 in this example. And less than or equal to. And I'll go 31, 03, 24. Okay, to that. And there's every date that starts within the month of March. Now I'm going to clear that filter. We could filter by the resources. So I might say I'm going to filter by equals to maybe HR manager. We can go down to the drop down arrow again. In this case, it'd be easy to filter by the little selections of ticks. So I'll take the select tick out of all of them and I'll just say HR manager. So sometimes you've got to go to different areas to filter. Click OK. And now the HR manager is clearly seen. And I'll clear the filter. We'll now have a look at another filtering option. You might want to see only a certain number of IDs. So now I want to see the ID three through to eight. So these three, these IDs here. So three to eight. Now this is in a different section. So I go to the view tab, the data section of the ribbon, where I've got no filter. I'm now going to choose the task range section, and this will give me an ID number. So ID, and I want to go between, let's say in this example, we'll do the 3 to 8. 3 to 8. And that shows that particular area. Again, I can clear in this area. I'll filter. 
And this gives you an example of how you can go about filtering in Microsoft Project, as well as if you make an error in the filter, how to look at possibly correcting it and um, producing the information that you require, as well as removing filters. This now completes the demonstration on filtering in Microsoft Project. See you in the next video.